Today, the wait is finally over. We are excited to announce the all new AWE exhaust for the G80 and G82. Brian, thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. In today's video, we are super excited because after months and months of waiting, we are finally allowed to debut the all new AWE exhaust for the G80 M3 and the G82 M4. Now, many of you have noticed that I did have a different exhaust on the car and you may have seen it at the Keys Auto Show or a couple other car shows, but today is the day we finally get to tell you about it. And not just that, we're gonna let you hear it as well. So let's put the car up on the lift. We'll compare it to the factory system and we'll show you what options AWE has given us for the G8X cars. So as you guys probably know by now, I love AWE exhaust. It's on my 335. It's on my F80. It is on my 328. It's even on my Ford Raptor video coming soon. And now it's on my G80 M3. They hand make these things right here in the United States, across the bridge in Pennsylvania, about an hour and a half from here. So when Jesse called me at AWE and said, hey, can we borrow your car? We wanna do some development and we wanna make a sick EPA compliant exhaust. How can I say no to that? So let's take a look at what they came up with. If you look over here at the exhaust on the ground, this is my factory exhaust. Basically you have catalytic converters in your downpipes, which mine are all stock. Then you have the secondaries up here, which we're gonna show you in one second. Then you have a resonator, a resonator, and then a gigantic muffler. All of this is restricting your flow and your sound. So if Zach, you wanna pan up here, we can see what AWE has done. So as you can see, I still have my primary cats and my downpipes up here. I still have my secondary cats over here. And then all you need to do is make two simple cuts. We have a ton of videos on how to do this. And then the AWE system comes in here. First thing you're gonna notice, it deletes this resonator up here and then also this one. And then in the back, you will see that we have a muffler section that is significantly smaller. Now, what I love about the one that's on the car, this is the switch path, and this uses the factory valve system. So if you're in comfort mode, it's going to be quiet, it's going to be neighbor friendly, and it's also going to be date night approved. Now, if you want more of a race car feel, you want it to be a lot louder, what you do is you just put it in sport mode and it's going to automatically open those valves for you. Up here, you will see we have these massive gloss black tips. They look amazing. They also have them in chrome, um, but I'm going for, as you can see by the wheels and whatnot, I'm going for like a black and green look. So this was definitely the best option for me. And like I said, I love switch path because if you wanna have quiet mode or loud mode, you have full control. Now, if you just wanna party all the time, there's also a track edition and basically, this is the same setup, but you're deleting your muffler. So it's going to go same exact spot. It's gonna tie in up here. This pipe system right here ties in right about here. And then I'll take it back. And then from there, really, you just delete this muffler. So you have as much volume as possible all the time. So let's put the car on the ground, take this on some back roads and see how it sounds.
So as you have now heard and seen, the AWE exhaust suite for the G80 and the G82, G83, G81, all the G8X cars, sounds and looks amazing. It's made right here in the United States, and it has a variety of configurations. As we showed you today, I have the switch path on my car, which enables you to utilize the factory valve system. They have the track mode if you want party mode all the time, and for a little bit extra volume, we also have available some sold separately mid pipes for the G8X cars. And like I said before, I couldn't be happier with the configuration that I have. And one more time, that is the non-resonated mid pipe and also the switch path exhaust. The tips are available in either chrome or black. I went with the black because I've got this black and green theme. And last thing, it is EPA compliant, so you never have to worry about getting busted. So once again, my name is Brian, that's Zach behind the camera. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and get yours in the links below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.